Hi guys, today I'm here with my February favorites chatting about everything that I loved this month. If you're curious about this eye look, I did film it. I don't know how it turned out, but if it is on my Instagram, I will list it down below using the new Balm Iced Tea Palette, but let's go ahead and get started. Starting out with two lip products that I loved this month. I have swatched both of the entire collections on my Instagram, so I will link to them down below. If you're not following me there, uh, shameless plug, but I do actually post a lot of the things that I might not necessarily get around to posting here on YouTube, so it might be an eye look, it might be a lip swatch video. Anyways, they are both listed down below. The first is from Bobbi Brown. When I posted that I received these, I got probably the most messages I've ever gotten to do a lip swatch video, which I was really surprised about, but they are gorgeous, so you were right to be intrigued. These are the Bobbi Brown, Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lips. Right now, I'm actually wearing a combination of two other ones, uh, Juicy Date, which is a fave of mine, and Lychee Baby. They just make like this perfect nude shade, but the one that I wanted to point out will be, uh, I'll be wearing this in an upcoming kind of cream product video. This one is in the shade peach and quiet and these have just a really interesting formula they go on a little bit glossy you can definitely wear them a little bit lighter in pigmentation you can build them up as they start to wear down they don't necessarily lose the color as much as they use lose the gloss and it becomes a little more matte I did just film a video before this and I feel like as I've been talking it has kind of worn down to a little bit more matte but it feels very very comfortable comes in a huge range of gorgeous shades so like I said I will uh, list it down below these swatch video and then also the L'Oreal uh, Rouge Signature Liquid Lips. I think that, that that's what these are called. This one is in the shade I Rule and I am wearing this in a video. What video is it? Oh, my best drugstore eyeshadow singles that make highlighters video. I was wearing this and again, I think the range is gorgeous, but this one really stuck out to me because it's kind of like a mauvey shade and I feel like I've gotten more into like mauvey pinks lately and this would never be a shade that I would walk into the drugstore and pick up. I'm always like either nude or red or something like that. This I thought was just really gorgeous. I don't need a lip liner with it and as for the formula on these, I think they claim it's like our thinnest formula ever or something like that and it truly it is really really thin feels like water almost going on but at the same time you don't need to build it up a ton which I like you still get full pigmentation right out the gate and they do have really really good wear time as well these do dry down matte so they're not the most comfortable ever but I don't find them to feel drying or uncomfortable or look tight on the lips either currently pre-filming a bunch of videos as I'm going to Mexico so stay tuned for a travel vlog um, but I did do a full face of Rimmel and they've got a bunch of new products coming out in the Stay Matte line. So I don't want to ruin the surprise, but there's two products that I tried in that line that I've really been loving, so I want to point them out. The first is this mascara. It is the Scandalize Wow Wings, and I really like Rimmel mascaras. The Wonderfully Real was a mascara that I could not put down last year. Maybe the same for this one. It is super volumizing, super black, thick formula, very, very lengthening as well. It just like, as soon as you put it on your lashes, it literally is like, boom, right in your face. No issues with flaking. Uh, or transferring or smudging or anything like that, but I don't really have that issue anyways with mascaras. Uh, but yeah, really, really impressed with this. And then I also, they have launched now, there's now nine shades in total of the Stay Matte Powder, which I think is super exciting. I'm wearing one of the ones that's like more skin toned on my face now, but I really loved this as a bronzer. I don't know where this falls in the line, but this is 31 Pecan, and I used this as a bronzer in the video. And like I say in this upcoming video, because it's not like a powder foundation and it's not a full-on bronzer it's very buildable it has a nice like light to medium coverage I'll call it uh, and I thought it just acted as a great bronzer so if you're ever looking for a bronzer and you're at the drugstore you can't find your shade take a look at face powders because they're really really easy to work with and generally they'll go deeper than the average bronzer at the drugstore unfortunately uh, but I really have been liking using this as a bronzer lots of great drugstore products to talk about uh, earlier this month I did a full face of NYX featuring their brand new can't stop won't stop concealer that absolutely could have made it here into the mix but I did want to mention this one instead because it's a little bit less hyped up and in addition to concealers, another thing I'm very picky about is my under eye powder. I love a pigmented under eye powder and I feel like they can go so wrong or if they're translucent, sometimes they can look gray and dry or they're just not the right shade, but this one is just perfect. It has enough pigmentation. It has a beautiful yellow brightening color. Uh, it is from the NYX Three Steps to Sculpt Face Sculpting Palette. Interestingly, this is in the shade Light. I know there are shades lighter than this, but generally I would not consider myself a light. So that's a little bizarre, but there are shades 
above this as well, which is great if you do have a deeper skin tone. Anyways, I love all of the items in here, especially the under eye powder and the highlighter. The bronzer is like, a, it's like bronzers up here. The bronzer is a little bit deep for me to use as a bronzer actually, so I kind of use it as like a contour almost in smaller doses. Highlighter is gorgeous, but um, this under eye powder is just absolutely incredible. I have not been able to stop using it. I don't know, I don't think it's the same as the one that comes in their contour little palette because I'd love to get this as a single. It's just very rare for me to find an under eye powder that I love and it's so nice to find it in drugstore form. So if you've overlooked this, definitely give it a try. Uh, so impressed with it. I've been obsessing over cream products lately and this, these I guess are just so beautiful. New from Nude Sticks, they are their Nudies Matte All Over Blush Colors. Uh, and this one, sorry, is actually all over bronze. I've used, I use them both as blushes. I guess it kind of depends on your skin tone. Sunkissed is, I've got like foundation on it so I have to roll it up a little bit for me to see. It's a little more neutral. I guess you could use it as a bronzer, depending on your skin tone, but it's kind of like this neutral rosy shade, very gorgeous. And then Sunset Strip, oh, that's the wrong side. Sunset Strip is more of like, I don't know. It's like a little more corally, but still very, very wearable. They're so easy to blend out. They look gorgeous on the skin, very, very buildable, long lasting. I really love a Nude Sticks products and I definitely don't give them enough love. I think I will be doing a full face of Nude Sticks because these have totally inspired me. They're just absolutely gorgeous. The shades are great and it really made me want to look into the rest of the Nudies matte because I've tried their the highlighter that's in this stick format, but these are my first blushes from them. And yeah, on top of the formula, the shades just really get me going because they are so pretty. I know I'm referencing a lot of videos that you have yet to see, but that's kind of why all these things are popping up because they're all things I've been testing and trying throughout the month. But this brush I really love and I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a favorites video. It's the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush. And in looking on the Sephora website, um, because I do mention this in my upcoming cream full face video or you know using creams for oily skin video. Um, I couldn't find this on the Sephora Canada website in full size. There's a mini, but then on the Sephora USA website, it was there in full size. And it doesn't look like this because this is from a holiday collection. I love this and basically only use this to blend out contour, cream contour, cream blush, even cream highlighter, clean it off in between all three of those things. Uh, sometimes I'll use a beauty sponge, but this just does the perfect job. I have used this for foundation before, but now that I've started wearing more cream products, I basically exclusively use it to blend out everything on my face. It's a really nice size because it's kind of small to get on your forehead in the contours, but then it's also super dense and it just, you can kind of stipple it in to blend out a blush. And in addition to that, it doesn't move around any product on my face because there's certain times where I've used cream contour, cream highlight, whatever it might be, and it's just made everything look worse when I try to blend it out. And when I use this brush, it always does just such a good job. So I'm hoping it's not like being discontinued or anything. I've really loved actually the Sephora collection brushes that I've tried. This one especially, I think it's a little bit unique too. I don't think I've seen much like it, um, just in the density and size and whatnot, but I really, really love this. So I'm hoping it's not being discontinued. Another video you've yet to see is my favorite masks for textured skin, for dull skin. That's coming up soon and I'm excited about it because it has so many products in there that I feel like have really helped transform my skin. The one that I've been using the most recently probably is from Amorovitsa. It is the Silver Skin Savior and this has a beautiful balm-like texture. It doesn't dry down. It doesn't feel drying on the skin. You can get a little tingle sometimes, but this has things like colloidal silver in there, niacinamide, which is amazing for oily and acne prone skin. Then you're also getting glycolic acid in there, which is one of my faves um, when it comes to actually like kind of, I wouldn't say retexturizing my skin, but helping with the texture of my skin along with salicylic acid. So it's just kind of jam packed with all of these great things for oily, acne prone skin that has texture and is dull. And if you're looking to mix it up from the typical clay mask, because forever the only type of mask I used was a clay mask, no matter what. And now I'm really trying to mix it up with different treatments. Uh, some are more moisturizing, some are clay, and more purifying. Some are going to be more for texture. This kind of does a good job of everything, I think, in my opinion. It also smells amazing. I was trying to describe it in that video and I still don't know what to describe it as. It just, it smells like something a healthy person would put on their face, in my opinion, like really, really healthy. <laughs> but uh, overall, uh, I really do love this mask. It is not cheap, uh, but it definitely is very, very high quality. I want to mention a hair oil that I've been loving. It is the Voir 
um, luxury hair oil, A Walk in the Sun. This has jojoba oil, avocado oil, I think rosehip oil as well. I've been using this when I get out of the shower, I'll use my leave-in conditioner, then this, then follow up with a curl definer. And the most exciting thing about this is that it is a Canadian brand, actually based right here out of Tor in Toronto. Um, they emailed me maybe a month back, I've been testing this out for now. Um, it's an incredible looking hairline, but more importantly, it actually uh, does an incredible job with my hair hair. Because it's not targeted necessarily towards curly hair, I was like, uh, how is it going to work for me? But I feel like it does a really, really good job, especially with making my hair look shiny. I've also used it on second day curls to give them back a little bit of zhuzh. It says you can mix it in and use it overnight as like a treatment. Uh, you can do basically anything you want with it, but really, really uh, excited to see such a great Canadian brand with high quality products based out of here in Toronto. They've got a bunch of different things in the line, but uh, this hair oil is definitely what I've loved the most. And lastly, I have one more hair kind of product tool to mention. I don't even know what this is, who this is from. Uh, Seg Beauty. I purchased this on Amazon and it's just a mister. And the only thing I have in here is water. Mm, that feels good. Uh, I just like that it gives such a light mist because I've talked about the Kristen S hair water before, how much I love that that has a beautiful mist and I feel like it just does a better job on second day curls, like for example today, I washed my hair yesterday, then today, you know, I had to take it out, it was kind of, I had flyaways, things were looking a little weird, so before I started putting product in and wanted to diffuse again, I used this and just kind of misted my hair, and it does a really good job putting the water back in your hair, evenly distributing it, but it's not soaking wet, which is important to me, and because I just used, like, I mean, I wasn't even using a good spray bottle before, it was from Dollarama, it was one that I had actually bought to spray Rue when she gets, like, up on the coffee table, but we We've given up on trying to discipline her now. But anyways, um, that was okay, but this is just so good. I think it was like 15 bucks or something. I'm not sure. You could probably get it at like Sally Beauty and stuff. And I know a lot of the time, like I'll be like, I paid 15 bucks for this. And people will be like, what? I can get that for $7 at Target or whatever. I'm like, first of all, you're American and I can't shop at Target. But second of all, I just like to shop online. So sometimes I spend an extra five bucks to get something delivered to my house. Cause when you live in downtown Toronto, there's not a lot of options in the in-between, like everything's quite freaking bougie or it's like Dollarama and I'm ending up at Dollarama, but we do have Sally Beauty Supply, there's Chloré, so you may be able to purchase uh, these kinds of things there, but I just like buying things online and I was very, very happy with this, so uh, I will link to it down below if you have curly hair and if you've yet to incorporate one of these into your routine. So there you have it, that is everything that I loved this month and now you've gotten a little preview of a few videos uh, that have come if they have not been uploaded yet. Like I said, I am pre-filming so that all of my videos go up, all three videos a week go up like normal and uh, no vacations, baby, no days off. So <laughs> if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.